Hello, and thank you for tuning in again to another episode of CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. Today we're actually going to do a shootout between the MSAR STG 556 and the TPD variant, which are both built off of the Styrog design. It's kind of famous in the 80s. So what we're going to do, the way the shot, sh uh, sorry, the way the shot group's going to go is we're doing two, three rounds at slow fire, and then we're going to do a rapid fire at 25 yards. So the slow fire is at 50, and the rapid fire is at 25 yards. With that, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now we do the remaining 14 rounds, rapid fire. STG fired without any jams. Now we're going to move to the next one. Pause it. Okay, my switch target. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the. Now we're going to do the TPD model. Same drill. First group. Two groups. Three. We have a jam. That one was a feed jam, jammed up the round. Okay, standing rapid fire. Rapid fire, it's going to run cleanly. Now we got to do is a quick shot comparison. Interesting. So these are the shot comparisons of the two firearms. This is the STG 556. We've got a pretty solid group at 50 yards. A little bit off over here. Keep in mind that the STG 556 does have a 1.5x optic on it. We are using a mini aim point on the other one, and at 50 yards, uh, we got a pretty wide group here. Um, we had the uh, we also had the miss J, we had a miss feed on it, so I had to go ahead and separate it a bit. So we actually fired off an extra round over here. Um, not all too good at the long range. However, the aim point, keep in mind the red dot is easier to lock onto. So when you look at the 25-yard rapid fire ground group, 
We've got a pretty tight groove down here. STG also maintains a pretty tight groove with the 1.5X. It's a little off to the left. Um, I actually feel the differences between the trigger pulls, so that could actually be a trigger issue. Um, probably actually my finger over the trigger a little bit more. But uh, pretty much for CQB, they both look to fire out pretty accurately. CQB is actually pretty nice. Short, uh, short 16 inch barrel moved back because of the bullpup design. Makes it very easy to maneuver around uh, smaller areas. But for long range shooting, I think I'd actually stick with, uh, with something like my Smith & Wesson MMP 15T. Something a little bit more of a, a standard design. All right, now what we're gonna do is have a second round. Uh, second shooter go through the same drill. This time it's five on five. So five on the left target, five on the right target, and then five on the bottom with the next gun and five on the bottom with the, the, the same gun. So the first uh, two groups are gonna be two groups of five on the top with the uh, uh, TPD model. Now what we're doing is we're switching to the STG 556, same drill with five on five, two groups of five. Fifty yards. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the target back to take a look. Now remember the top was the TPD round and the bottom is going to be the STG 556. So taking a look at the target, we've actually got a pretty comparable target group. The very top ones as you can see are five groups, or two groups of five with the TPD and the bottom we have two groups of five with the ST, uh, uh, STG 556. Group selection is uh, pretty close. We're a little bit to the right on the top but that could actually be uh, just modifying the groups, uh, modifying the, uh, the actual scope. But the group uh, tightness is actually pretty much the same. Uh, not much of a significant difference. So that being said, remember if you have any questions, please email me at info at civiliantacticalweapons.com and hope to see you uh, next week's episode.